Does anybody know you're here yet? Mom, dad? Yeah, my mom, my mom pulled up on me. She knows me. Just think we're stupid. Why'd you get arrested today? Because I got in a fight. Have you been to jail before? No. Have you been to jail before? Moving on. Are you nervous, scared at all? Like For her? Yeah. Uh, I don't like separating us. So I've been with her for my dad near my whole life, so that's the only thing that will panic me. This is crazy. <laughs> Okay, so we're at Vintage Fair Mall, and um, me and this girl had already had an incident before. Or ever since then, it's been back and forth, and I've been hearing stuff that she wanted to fight again. She said, when I see you, we're going to fight, so we fought, and then we're here now. She got me close in, like this. And I told my ex, I was like, let her go, bitch. And then she didn't let her go. And I just clocked her one time, and she let her go. And then I just walked away. Usually I fist fight, but she's trying to throw me to the ground by my hair, so I got my hair. And then and she tried to kick me in my face, but it didn't work. Do you know like how the cop showed up? Or um, I seen a cop right there. I seen him. But I don't throw the first punches ever, ever. I never start the fights either. I usually, they come at me and they walk into my punches. I love her. It's so good. People were eating at the restaurant and her at the other girls. They said, oh, as yeah, they're eating. Yeah, it's crazy. Is those marks in your neck from the fight? No, it is more sexual than marks. Go to have a seat right there. You said you've never been here? No. This is my first time, so I really don't know what's going on. Can you move your extensions? Okay. I can't put my hair up at all. So we don't give you any hair ties in here. I need to change my hair color anyway. This is not funny. When they came in, they were being a little flirtatious with each other, and one made it very clear that they were girlfriends. They weren't really taking the whole process very serious. This is called the PREA form. PREA stands for Prison Rape Elimination Act form. So basically, let's do you know zero tolerance sexual assault. Here in the jail, it can be reported against you, you can report against others. So no such thing as consensual sex. Ever been arrested before in San Francisco? No. Not even as a minor? No. All right, so you're going to be over at the female open waiting, which is to your left hand side, all the way towards that back wall, okay? There's a red line on the ground. You don't cross that back over unless staff calls you and then no speaking to the men, okay? Okay. You can go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to go with you. 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 I want to go that happening. They were actually laying on each other. And according to our Prison Rape Elimination Act policy, we can't allow it. So we had to separate them. separated right now? Yeah, I'm not going to be a little bit. 
How long have you guys been together? So can you tell me what time it is? When you get out of here, when you go into college, what do you got ahead of you? Okay, we're gonna get books, okay? You're gonna get books. So go ahead and go over there. Angelina! Hey, what's your full name? Angelina. Are you someone I could talk to about, like, what's gonna happen? Yeah. So you're being charged with a misdemeanor. It's a battery charge. Do you need your right hand forefinger straight and flat on here? Left hand straight and flat on the paper. Left. The one. There you go. Uh, you will have a future court date for this, so you will be cited out. Um, and you fail to appear to your court, they can issue you a warrant, okay? They'll release you at one point today. What oh. you're gonna do right now is you're gonna still wait, uh -huh. then they're gonna fingerprint you, and then at one point today you'll be released. They'll give you a copy of when your court date's gonna be, okay? Oh. You don't have to bell or anything. You just have to be patient out here. Thank you. You're welcome. How, do you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling better. Yeah, I'm my job. Destiny, right? I'm gonna take you over there. Don't talk to your girl, right? Mm -hmm. Then if you do that for me, I'm gonna get you a phone call. So you can bail out, okay? Cool? Mm -hmm. Let's go. All the way down, keep on going. Uh, you can use the phone in the front too, right there. You can use that one, yeah. Hi, uh, this is Destiny. This is my first time being up in this bitch. And how do I get out? My ex bitch had my bitch's hair, and then I told her to let go, and when she tried to kick my girl, I just talked her in her face, and she let go. I only hit her once, though. Sounds good. I'll call you back. Mom, my bill's five thousand, and if I can't get it, then I'm spending the night. They said I need a cosign, so that's you. So you you need to do that for me. I can't not do it. You figure this out, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'll call you back. Ready? Can you go all the way down? Apparently. Is it? Oh, sorry. I'm sore from that fight. And my stomach hurts. I'm hungry. I haven't drank or anything. Like, I don't know, like 16, 19 hours, and I don't want to come back there again, ever, ever, ever again. Come on in. All the way down, you're almost done. Let's go. We're going to dress you in. That's the other go for. Okay. Go for. Right where my girl goes, I'll end up. This door closes, that door's gonna open up, okay? Okay. You live and you learn, and I learned, because I would never end up here again. You guys will never see my face here again. I still got things to, like, look forward to, like college and stuff. This is not for me. This place is not for me at all. At all.